New information and new questions tonight about a deadly plane crash at Nashville's airport. How does a pilot fly from Canada to the U.S. seemingly undetected and then crash at a major airport without being seen? That's just one of the mysteries surrounding this deadly plane crash just a couple of days ago at Nashville International. Well, 45-year-old Michael Callan was killed, and tonight there is a strong belief that the thick fog Tuesday morning played a part. Fox 17's John Dunn takes us inside a flight simulator now to give you a sense of what Callan was up against. Robert Colbreth has been flying for more than 40 years. And I began the descent down to Nashville. Behind the controls of his flight simulator in Portland, Colbreth shows us what the fog may have been like early Tuesday morning. All of a sudden, that's what he would have seen. His complete vision forward would be gone. The NTSB is taking a very close look at fog's role in the crash of the single-engine Cessna. 45-year-old Michael Callan was killed while trying to land on runway 2 center. The fog would likely also have made it difficult for controllers in the tower to view the wreckage. Michael Callan would have been completely dependent on his instruments right here in the cockpit. Unfortunately, he wasn't instrument rated, making it near impossible to land in that fog. There are reports that Callan had little to no contact with air traffic controllers who might have assisted in the landing. The NTSB says it has found no evidence of a distress call. Perhaps most baffling is Callan's decision to possibly fly undetected from Canada across the border to Nashville. Turns out, Colbreth says it is possible to make that flight off the radar. If he was low enough without a transponder on, it would have been very difficult for ATC to have seen him. Many details about the pilot's intentions are still unknown. The NTSB hopes to reveal more in the next 10 days. Ironically, what seems most clear is that Callan's view that night was anything but. I can begin to see the ground, but there's no way that I could see the runway. John Dunn, Fox 17 News.